this is how it starts. I should say, this is how it ends. So we have our eyeball. This is something we're gonna, we can glue on for face painting. I just thought it'd be fun to make a light up uh, eyeball. So let me show you how we make it. Let's turn our light back on. Let me turn the room light back on because it's pretty dark in here. All right, that's better. So I'm gonna put this away for now. I go to Dollar Tree and I bought last year some ping pong balls that had eyeballs on them. Well, they didn't have them this year, so I bet I bought some. Uh, these are beer pong balls, same as ping pong balls. I think it's like 144, I think, on Amazon for like ten dollars um, to give it. These are gonna roll around like crazy, so and these are gonna be hard to glue on with just this tiny little surface area. So I wanted to give it a biggest, bigger surface area. So what I did was first I started with one. I found a cap. And I was doing these one at a time. And then I realized that I'm pretty impatient and they take way too long to do one at a time. So I grabbed something, anything, that had a round base. This fits in here and I put four on there. I have my iron turned on. Take a piece of cardstock. I like cardstock just because it's thicker. Gently set it on top. I'm going to take the iron and we're going to set it right on top. I'm not going to push down real hard. I'm just going to let it set gently on here. I'm going to hold it. After maybe 10, 20 seconds, you're going to hear a little pop. And that's that there's one. I'm wait for all four of them to go. Two, three. I don't hear the fourth one going. Maybe I missed it. There we go. There's the fourth one. Okay. So now, this is not that hot. The iron is on hot, but it's on paper. If it's not going to burn your paper, it's not going to torch anything. There's no stinky fumes because you're not actually touching the plastic of the, the ping pong ball. Okay, so these are all basically glued onto here now. Once they cool off, we can just pop them right off. You can, if you have the pre eyeballed uh, ping pong balls you, that you have, that's great. I just wasn't that fortunate to find any. So I decided just to make my own real quick. I cut decals for a living. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to just make my own little decals for these. You don't have to. It's just the thing that I like to do. So I put those on there. I think it gives a little more texture too because you can make them as big or as small as you want. I put that one on there in the center. I cut little notches in the sides of these just so that it lays a little bit flatter. And then we've got this one for the center. Okay, Oop, don't smush it in like that. <laughs> I guess you could. That kind of gives it a different look. It wasn't really what I meant to do. Once this is cool, you can peel it right off the backing. And now you have this nice flat surface area, which you can glue right onto. Um, if you're doing kids' faces, you can put them like right in the center of their forehead. Um, so these are pretty cool. Now, if you want to go above and beyond that, if you're doing a nighttime event, what I started to do to play with these was I would, this isn't very cool yet, I would usually take a straight edge, uh, like a razor, um, an X-Acto knife, and I would slice into here. Of course, I don't have one because I'm sitting here. Let's try, let's see if scissors work. Nope, that's plastic. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I did it on this one over here. So on the back of here, you peeled up the bottom. Okay, so this is how it was. This is how it came out from here. I was able to peel this back a little bit. And I took a Neolun, which is, um, it's one of those little LED lights. You can buy them on Amazon. Um, I know there's different sellers that sell them. I'll stick that back in there. I hate wasting my batteries. Um, leave the tab in there. I took some hot glue, ran on the inside of there, and I stuck it in here. And it'll fold this back on top. I will then glue this back together um, just so that it's all one piece. This is my nice flat surface area that you can use to glue onto faces. If you have some sticky back vinyl, you can glue that onto here so then you can just stick it right on um, depending on how sticky your vinyl is. Or you can just use glue. I use, I use Moonlight glue for everything. It's the best, the best, 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 best skin glue that there is. Um, we sell it if you need a resource for it, let me know. So this just stays like this. So when I'm done with my face painting and I wanna add the eyeball on, all you got to do that is pull this little tab out and then it glows. 
Well, I hope you learned something today and uh, let me know if you try it out.